Alright guys, and welcome to another episode of a film review. Today we're going to review Makai Becton and see how he did in this, uh, well, game. Uh, he got a 77 PFF grade. This is after I recorded this, and uh, yeah, so let's begin. So, you see Makai Becton right here. We're going to start from, we're going to pretty much do every snap from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. And let's see how he does on this pass rep. See, this is his first pass rep in the NFL, and he doesn't do that great. He needs to do a better job of not getting bull rushed right here. You can see that uh, he he allows the defender to get his uh, get to his inside. I believe that's Jerry Hughes. So that's overall not a good play. But it's the first play of his career. He has a little butterflies. That's okay. This next rep, you see him in the run game, being able really to push that defender out of the way and allow Le'Veon Bell to gain two yards because the rest of the offensive line um, sucks. Uh, this next play, we're going to see him uh, come up and get some decent punch, push the guy around the edge. I like to see him get a little bit lower, but he's a big guy, so I don't blame him for that. And like just like that, the Jets are three and out, and we go to the next drive. All right, so here's the next drive. He gets nice and low, and take a look how he fast he gets off the line. And uh, he does a decent job. I mean, it was a run to the right. You kind of want to get on the inside to push that defender out, make sure he doesn't get there. But overall, that was solid. This next play, he does, again, solid in the run game with a one-hand punch and pushes him outside the screen. If you notice there, a lot of physicality. I like that. He didn't do a whole bunch of that this game, but uh, I like that effort. I like that intensity right there. It's an obvious passing down. It's third and nine, and they get the ball quickly, but he does do a decent job of controlling number 91, who I believe is Ed Oliver, and uh, just like that, they're punting, and we're on to the next drive. Oh, this is the third drive of his NFL career, and he just he's just a rock. He holds that defender right there, and he doesn't allow him to get Sam Donald. He just holds him right there, a solid base, a solid rock, and that's what you do. He's, uh, you know, six foot seven, 360 pounds. He's not moving anywhere. And allows Sam Donald, even though he got a little bit inside to throw to number 82, who ends up dropping the ball. That's crazy. Here he gets a little bit slow on the outside. Uh, take a look at it. He doesn't know who to block, so he ends up kind of blocking nobody. It kind of gets fooled on that stunt. Not the worst pass rub. I believe that's just a miscommunication with the tight end. He'll button that up, and that, you know it's not a huge detriment to uh, Makai Becton. Uh, here, he backs up fairly quickly, and uh, overall, it's just kind of a mess on the offensive line right here. The guard doesn't really know what he's doing. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because this is not all 22 film. Uh, thanks, NFL. But he does kind of get bull rushed a little bit, but then again, he it's not that big of a deal. So overall, not a horrible rep, but I wish I could see exactly what happened with the communication with that guard there. Okay, so now on to the fourth drive here. He really tries to use a lot of physicality. doesn't really move the guy that much, but overall, he does his job. And is that against Ed Oliver? Yeah, I believe that's against Ed Oliver. So, you know, solid. Just using his physicality. He, but take a look. He's right over here. And what he's going to do is, um, you know, just try to clean out everybody. And he had really had nobody to block at that point. So he's just finding a man a block. I like it. He didn't like look up all days and confuse like some offensive linemen do. He can get himself into trouble when he tries to just you know push the guy instead of hold on to him and kind of like trap him. Like when he he can trap people because he's a big guy, but sometimes he tries to push people out of the way and it kind of gets him in a little bit of trouble here. So not the best rep by Makai Becton. Okay, so this is second and twelve. So obvious passing down in a way and just does just pushes pushes the edge guy out of the way. I mean, uh, battle, hands on the inside for the most part. Uh, gets a little bit on the outside, but readjusts. Nice readjustment. And another drop by a Jets wide receiver. And it's uh, Crowder again, uh, ironically. Then we can also see here he defends number you know, Ed Oliver pretty well, but ends up giving, giving up the pressure to number 91. Let's replay that real quick. So, you know, it's a little bit of a stun here, but I think Makai Becton needs to do a little bit of a better job at this point. So he, he uh, blocks number 91, but he just misses, uh, blocks number 97, but completely misses 91. Okay, so this is the one with a penalty. I don't really see the penalty here. I think it just does a good job in forcing him to the ground, but you guys be the judge here. Number 55, number 55, and just he tries to bend around the edge. I thought that was kind of classic. They don't really call that a lot for offensive linemen, but apparently that was a penalty, so um, not the best thing, and he has to clean that up a little bit. All right, for this next pass, that gets his hands on the inside real quick. And he lunges a little bit here, and you see number 55 almost be able to get around the edge, but overall he does a solid job there because Sam Donald is able to get the ball out, and uh, yeah, successful. Okay, so this one he does a really good job with the counter, realizes number 97 is going inside, and then picks up number 91 on the outside, and Sam Donald is able to deliver a pretty good ball, ball for once. Okay, so let's take a look at this next one. First and 10, 
uh, does a good job finding uh, Ed Oliver, and um, it allows Sam Donald to leave the pocket. Okay, so here, he's tr trying to just find work, and there's nothing really to comment more about that one, but we're going over pretty much every play, so we got to mention it. This one keeps his pads nice and low and just strikes at Oliver like that, even though the pass went out real quick. He has his eyes on number 97, and, you know, just controls at Oliver whatsoever. Doesn't allow him to get outside, doesn't allow him to get inside, and um, reads the offensive uh, defensive line pretty good and knows who's coming. They didn't really throw a bunch of things at him. Besides this play, you see, they throw a decent amount of stuff, like who's going to be rushing, who's going to not. He takes his time, he's able to process real fast and pick up number 90, and uh, Sam Donald's able to make the completion. All right, so to open up the uh, second half, he does a nice job countering 55, but you know, obviously 55 gets off the block. That's not really his fault. That, you know, there's nothing more he can do about that one. All right, so keeps his eye on number 44. Nice punch, nice punch. A solid, solid job from Beckton. Keeps his base low, does everything right pretty much there. This one, he tries to be a little bit aggressive and do a little bit of slap. It kind of works. Jerry Hughes, number 55, I like that aggressiveness, and that's something you need for the NFL. You can't be passive here. This one, he really takes initiative on, in this run game. I really like it. He just pushes number 91 out, but I wish he would have finished a little bit more because 91 ends up fighting back and coming back to the inside and getting a nice tackle there, even though it probably wouldn't have tackled anyway. This next one, tries to keep his hand inside, and take a look at number 97. Even though this is he lets up the sack here, the, to Ed Oliver, keeps his hands inside, Does tries to do a little bit of a spin move. He doesn't finish, but overall, I mean, you held him for long enough. You did your job. He didn't get completely beat. Um, and I've been calling 97 Ed Oliver. It's apparently Mario Addison, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so you take a look at it. Bunch formation. He really just shows his strength in this run in this run play. Why don't you take a look at this again? Basically, just pile drives number whoever it is just out of the way and opens up a hole for a three yard gain for Frank Gore which feels like he does every single play but he's a really tall guy you see him up but you know does a good job with Addison he tries to do a spin move but keeps him to the outside okay so to, let's take a look at this play <laughs> just kind of uh he, he gets caught like stood up a little bit um but he does he gets 55 out of the play so at least he does his job a decent bit okay so and then this play we see him, again, really aggressive, really getting a lot of push in the run game, which is good. You know, he's a big dude, and he's actually using it, and he has some NFL strength already, which is going to be good for the Jets as, you know, protecting Sam Darnold and establishing the run. This one, uh, number uh, Mike Hughes tries to get a little bit of bend, but he just keeps his base low, and almost get he almost gets beaten. He's almost too big at this point, but overall, he does a solid job there. And this one, he really does get beat on the inside. I don't think there's going to be a huge trend, but take a look how he gets beat on the inside. You can't do that, and Le'Veon Bell ends up getting stuffed. And then finally, this is the last play. Tries to get to that second level and kind of just gets dazed and confused and ends up being a fumble. So, solid day by Becton, but not great. 